So Perkin virus is a virus in a family of uh, viruses that can often infect children, particularly very young children. It has been known for many, many years to be a causative agent of mild disease in most individuals, if at all. But it was also known that in very young children and in immunocompromised patients and in the elderly, this virus could cause more severe disease, such as sepsis, seizures, or even meningitis. In general, what parents should be thinking about, particularly with very young children, is if they find that there is a fever, if the child is not behaving normally, not eating well or drinking well, or having even some periods where they feel that the child is very lethargic, those are some warning signs that should prompt the parent to contact a, their healthcare provider to see if more needs to be done. In more extreme cases, and again, these are very rare, a child could actually have seizures, and those, of course, represent a medical emergency, and the parent should, of course, reach emergency services at that point. This virus is transmitted primarily through physical contact. For this reason, a measure that parents can take with who have very young children is to basically practice very good hygiene themselves, also ask that anybody who is going to be in contact with a child, with their child, use good hand hygiene, and also to a certain extent, limit the number of people who will be exposed to a very young child uh, for the first few weeks of that child's life. There is no specific treatment, there's no vaccine or no medication to treat this particular virus, but there are several supportive measures that can be done and for all these reasons, it is important for parents who have any concern that their very young child might have an infection like this one to contact their healthcare practitioner so that further steps can be decided and that the child can be kept safe.